Uh, just, you know, obviously uh, proud of our guys. Uh, Valpo's a uh, really good team. They're, they're uh, um, been playing great. Uh, had won four out of seven coming in. And, um, you know, last two losses, a heartbreaker to Missouri State. They led in the final, you know, possession, lost that one in overtime. And then double overtime to Drake in a game they led uh, all the way through. So we knew they were coming in, playing really well. Um, thought uh, uh, first half, you know, we obviously shot it great. And I thought our, our we were really good. You know, we, the difference between shooting well and playing well, I thought we shot it great and played poorly. Uh, defensive urgency wasn't very good. They made some tough shots, credit them. Coach Lodich has done a great job with that group and changed the way they play. And I thought our urgency second half was much better on the defensive end, played much more uh, like the way we want to and, and have to. And so uh, happy to you know get a win over a, a really good team. Coach, just looking at the stat sheet, you guys got 30 points off the bench. You guys had seven turnovers. You had um, you got rebounding in by 10. Any any stat there that kind of kind of tells the tale of today's game and like what you did? You mentioned obviously the three point shooting in the first half, but what do you like to kind of uh, kind of commend the commend your boys for doing today and like what you guys were able to do? 22 assists and seven turnovers. I think is the biggest thing. I mean, the way they share the ball, the way they give it up for each other, the way they play together. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, I mean, last two games we've had 49 assists to 11 turnovers. I mean, that's pretty amazing. And, you know, made 36 threes in that same vein. I think that's, you know, last four games we've we've shot at a pretty good level. I think we've made about 15 threes a game. And, and, uh, and our, our, our assist numbers, obviously, when you do that, are going to be high. But just the way they generate shots for each other, I thought that was good. I thought second half, the biggest stat to me was, you know, 23 points, held them at 23 points. And, it's the fifth straight second half that you know we've had a pretty significant margin. If you go back to Drake, I think we were plus 16 there. Uh, we were we were plus eight against Northern Iowa, plus 17 against Evansville, plus 31 against Murray State second half. We were plus 15 today. So those are numbers. And you mentioned the bench. Bench was fantastic. Trent, Jabo, Hobbs in the first half were amazing. I thought Jason Kent gave us great minutes in the second half. So a lot of guys coming in playing at a high level and and. Uh, you know, that depth is, is, is going to be key for us here as we get down the stretch run of the season. You mentioned that the second half, there wasn't that lot of urgent looking for 40 minutes from your team. What has been the biggest difference the last couple of weeks in getting 40 minutes from your team? Uh, I think, you know, they, they've, they've kind of just, you know, found themselves a little bit in terms, I think, that second half at Drake. And, um, you know, we've obviously, you know, uh, shot the ball well. But the biggest difference to me has just been our – our, our ability in those second halves to really kind of knuckle down and, and, and we found a more consistent level. And that's, you know, what you're searching for as a team every year is, you know, what's your best version? Okay, now we know what that is and how do you get to it as consistently as possible, right? And, and I think prior to this four game stretch, we had shown our best version on occasions and we had been up on teams and the games would go back and forth. and. Um, you know, this was much, this last, you know, starting that second half at Drake. And then, you know, we haven't been perfect by any stretch, but um, these last four games, we've, we've done the best job of finding our, our version. And I think, you know, I mentioned this out there, you know, Julian is not our best player, but he's our most important player. Um, you know, there's a difference probably, but, but he's the most important guy in terms of what he brings defensively. And when he's touching paint like that and he's, He's the one guy who can get his shoulders down and generate shots for those guys. And I don't even know what he did today, but he had, I think he had seven assists. And, you know, that's, that's now, you know, when you look at it, you know, I think three straight games where he's had, you know, I think eight, nine, and seven. And so those numbers are jumping up exponentially. And when he's facilitating offense and the job he did uh, on Nick Edwards, I thought was terrific. He's a really good point guard. Uh, did the same thing to Brian Moore, to Bowen Bourne, the job he's done defensively. To ask somebody to, to, to do what we're asking him defensively and then do what he's doing offensively, um, the, it, 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 you know, that, that's exceptional to be able to, to do that. It's not you know, really uh, almost, almost inhuman to be able to do both, and he's doing them at a high level for a lot of minutes. Taylor said you were one of the, you were known for uh, offense and shooting threes, but when you're shooting like you are right now, I mean, you, you don't mind the amount of threes you're shooting, do you? No, no, I don't, because to me it's, it's always about you know, making the right play and taking what the defense gives you. They were pretty, uh, I thought the first half we had some possessions where we probably could have, uh, I didn't love, you know, I thought we settled sometimes. But you could tell they're making a conscious effort to basically pack the paint. You know, the, the thing with the way we play offense that maybe gets misconstrued is it's really designed to get layups. That's what we want to take. And then if we can't get layups, we want to get fouled. 
And if we can't get layups or foul, then we hope we've re you know, collapsed the defense to where we're generating feet set, spot, wide open threes off a of paint touch. And those are, besides offensive rebound threes, the highest value threes in the game. But you almost reverse engineer it, right? So we're second in the country in two-point percentage. So teams now are saying, OK, we're going to take away the twos. But to take away something, you've got to give something. And what they're giving us has been you know, those threes, and we're making them at a good clip. I don't know that our, you know, the five-game losing streak, we shot 24% from three. And we made like five a game, 5.3, I think. Now the four-game winning streak, we're shooting 46, 47% and making like over 15 a game. And so I don't think we're probably as good a shooting team as we've been. And I, don't, I know we're not as bad a shooting team as we were. Uh, you know, water always finds this level. And I think, you know, I, I think we're, you know, a good shooting team. And teams, if they're going to give us, you know, wide open threes because they're going to take away the rim, then we got to be, uh, we, we got to take those, shoot them with confidence and put guys on the floor that can make those shots. And I think that's, that's what we're doing. And, and so I didn't mind the 43s. I, the first half, I thought we could have played with a little more force. Second half, we got downhill a little more, got fouled a little more, and we wound up taking a, a few more twos. But even today, you know, we, we shoot, you know, I guess 13 for 22 from two, which is not as good as we've been. But, you know, we, we wound up, you know, taking up, I guess, 43s to 22 twos. So, but take what the defense gives you. I always tell them, you know, the game tells you what to do, you know, on offense. Game tells you what to do. The game tells you to shoot or pass or, or what you should do. And you just got to read the game and then, and then make the right play. Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, it's great um, to go through this. Uh, obviously, you know, my first time here, been through it a few times, you know, where I was. Um, and for a lot of these guys, it's their first time, you know, in the Valley to have a chance to win a championship. Obviously, uh, Coop and Ju were part of really good teams, uh, but they weren't in a championship race in February. Um, and so it, it, it's awesome. I think it's a great experience, great experience for our program. Um, I think it's, a, it's an opportunity for, for, you know, hopefully the community now with three home games left to get out once we, you know, we, or I guess two home games left now uh, to get out and, 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 and support here as we get down the stretch run of this season. Um, but it, it's fun. I mean, but I think that the key is, as you said, you know, this league is, and, and we, we're, the, we're the best example, um, it can flip on you quickly, right? I mean, everything is fragile. So we've prepared well. We've played well. I think we're in a good trajectory. I like the spirit of the team. I like the place we're in as a group. But also know that, you know, we, we were 6-0, and we lost five in a row, and now we've won four in a row. Um, you know, this can, this can flip on you in a hurry. So we just got to continue to lock in, stay focused on our process, come in every day, work to grow together, get better, prepare as well as we can, and then, you know, lay it all out there, empty the tanks together uh, in the 40 minutes we get. And that'll be, a, you know, obviously a massive one Saturday at Northern Iowa against a, a great team. And this league is funky. I mean, you know, Missouri State just beat Belmont, I think. Evansville's up 17 on Northern Iowa at half. Um, it, this is a this is a funky league. I mean, you you know you're gonna you got to bring it every single night, and and it, anything can happen in the Missouri Valley. So you just got to be prepared. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great night.